Thank you, Mbulwinaka, everyone, and uh, greetings from the Fiji Higher Education Commission. My name is Epi Rawalai. Uh, first of all, thank you very much, Allah and Val, for the invitation to be part of the Open Education Week. I think I'm the last here to present, and not, I hope not the least. And um, I was telling Anna, your communication officer, your media lesson officer there, I think I'm the only one from outside. Everybody is from USP. <laughs> well, uh, for my presentation today, uh, I'll be talking about the story behind the National Open Educational Resources Policy for Fiji. And I'm also thankful that uh, I have uh, my colleague, Mr. Matai Tangidaki here, who was in charge of this. He was with us before, and uh, USP Dave just told him a few months ago. <laughs> My outline of presentation uh, the, um, today, I'm sure that it's 12 already, you're supposed to have open uh, enhancement uh, discussions already, but I'll just take, give you a brief history about ministerial approval, uh, the consultation involved, the USP, the guidance and support that USP gave, the communique, more consultation, and the policy endorsement. When a, when a policy is in existence, you know, people will have that s a sense of direction to, to carry out things, to do things. Uh, for the government of Fiji, uh, they look at this and they see that as part of the efforts of the government to develop uh, education and training at all levels, well, they, 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 they see why not explore this? And also based on the underlying assumption that access to qualified education in Fiji can be greatly enhanced with the use of OER, uh, in many different ways, and also taking into account uh, the great many advantages of the open education resources. Yes, Fiji recognizes the potential uh, in OER to play a major role in expanding equal opportunities to access uh, quality education and uh, contribute to, in a significant way towards the development of uh, a smarter Fiji. That is one of the pillars of our government to create uh, a knowledgeable society. And they say, so why not explore <coughs> the OER? Just a brief history. Um, the former Fiji Education uh, Director, Mrs. Salwa Terambuka, took great interest in the OER after attending an international conference in 2012 and made it her goal to have a national policy in place before she retired. So she's, she successfully achieved this goal. And uh, for me, this lady needs special mentioning as she took this initiative, even though OER was not part of the Fiji Higher Education Strategic Plan. Uh, the first mentioning of the OER was put across to the then Minister for Education, uh, Mr. Philippe Mbole, who fully supported the idea of exploring the concept when the first consultation for OER national policy was done on the 25th of March uh, 2015. It was the present minister, Dr. Mahendra Reddy, who officiated and acknowledged his predecessor uh, for con uh, considered it appropriate to have a national policy in OER in Fiji. Okay, uh, the first national policy consultation, it was uh, held on the 15th of March, as I've earlier mentioned. Uh, we had 80 participants, and most of these participants are in this house, and uh, stakeholders from around the country uh, took part in this uh, national policy consulta consultation and under a draft uh, national policy was presented after all the one day discussions a communique was prepared and uh, the, we had the guidance and support of <coughs> USP we were blessed the Fiji Education Commission was blessed to have the guidance and support of the University of the South Pacific in terms of expertise and resources, especially for the first consultation that we had for the national OER policy. Uh, these were the presenters for during the first consultation, the, the, the uh, librarian, Joe and Yee, uh, Mr. Sir Rocco Singer Morrison, Al Niatalesu Mafatiaki, Mr. Mate Tangidaki were part of this. And from the earlier days, uh, we always have the support of uh, Shikari Turi and Ian Thompson here uh, in the earlier discussions before we even move on to have the first national uh, uh, consultation. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, after the consultation from the communique that was developed, there were a few issues related to OER that we had to, to take into account before we move on with further consultations of this uh, OER policy. Uh, with that includes the internet access, IT expertise, OER accessibility, 
the sustainability of OER legislation, a unit to specifically coordinate this effort, uh, the, this, the, the, the involvement of the three universities, uh, the need to include OER in teacher training and uh, so forth. So as we move on for further consultation, those were the issues uh, that were identified from the first consultation and was uh, uh, included in the community. And then we move, on, we move on with another consultation, the final one that took place in September 2015. And um, we also have stakeholders, and uh, USP is a major contributor to this. Uh, Mr. Abel Kane, one of our very own Fijian, who is with UNESCO, and expertise who was there to offer his professional advice and expertise. Well, from his comments later on, he said that the Fiji uh, OER policy was great, uh, comprehensive, and quite holistic. Uh, after finalizing the OER, it was sent to those. Uh, we were also blessed that they, they were they were vetted by three major three major players: the Commonwealth of Learning. Uh, Creative Commons and UNESCO. So these are the three major players that uh, that vetted the OER policy in Fiji before it was uh, taken for endorsement by the Minister of Education. Um, this policy lies within the Ministry of Education, but the Fiji Higher Education Commission championed it for them. We took the lead role to move this forward so that we have uh, a OER policy in place. So those who do not know the, the demarcation of the Fiji High Education Commission and the Ministry of Education, they look after primary and secondary education only. We look after the education sector, I mean the tertiary sector of our, of our nation. And um, yes, we took lead role in this and uh, when this was in place, Mr. Matai Tangitaki was there as, uh, as the prefer our education um, technologies in place uh, looking after OER. And uh, yes, and we recognize the potential and the benefits of ER, and uh, I do not need to mention this, and you have mentioned that. So once, our, once that policy was, um, was endorsed, uh, we received great comments again from the founder, founding director of OER. This is what he has to say. This is a proud moment for Fiji. You are establishing a global leadership role in returning to the core values of education, which is to share knowledge freely. We will share your achievement with countries around the world so more can follow your example. That is from Dr. Wayne McIntosh, the founding director of OER. We also receive comments from the president of the Commonwealth of Learning. Warm congratulations on this major achievement. Through this one document, you have opened the doors of quality education to thousands of Fijian learners. I'm glad Call was part of this exciting journey. You, you are our valued and valuable partners, and we will continue to provide whatever support we can. And again, from the Mr. Abel Kane of UNESCO, I'm delighted to hear the approved Fiji national OER policy. It's a great step for Fiji, which again leads to the Pacific region, and we will serve as a global beacon. The benefits will be enjoyed within one to two years, and I'm proud to have made a humble UNESCO contributing starting all the way from 2012 World <coughs> OER Congress. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have a national policy and OER, and we are proud to say that we are the first in the Pacific to have uh, this national policy. And uh, the Pacific always looks up to Fiji, and the whole Pacific region looks to Fiji to provide penetrating move in all education uh, uh, initiatives. And I, I can still remember uh, last year, I think, or the beginning of last year, sometimes last year, the uh, Ian and them organized this workshop with the Ministry of Education and it was opened by the Permanent Secretary and uh, his comment was, is Fiji lags behind, all other small island nation statements will lag behind. Thank you for listening. <laughs>